Day 10. You are a cool bug. I like you. I'm not going to pick you up, but I like you. So here's a nice little water source. I'm not going to fill up here because there's another one near the shelter that we're almost at. But, you know, I've noticed that uh, I guess it's, uh, I'd love to hear from my friends, uh, Amy or Dave. I've noticed the correlation between springs and um, these rocky outcroppings. So um, definitely, oh, it's starting to rain. I'd like to hear about that from my uh, hydrology friends when I get back, because it's definitely a correlation that I have noticed. Um, all right, it's starting to rain. Put my rain coat on. Bye. So we left Tylassie this morning. Um, got a shuttle back to Dick's Creek Gap. And um, there is some trail magic there. Um, somebody left a cooler of wine and beer and uh, bis some biscuits and stuff. But uh, uh, 11.30 in the morning sounded a little early to uh, start cracking into the wine. Somebody actually carried a box of it up to the shelter here. Uh, Plum Orchard Gap Shelter. So, um, yeah, trail, trail magic stuff is amazing. Um, again, people are so nice. So we only did like 4.5 or 5 or something today uh, to Plum Orchard Gap because um, we just, it was almost noon when we started hiking today. And then the next shelter is like another like 7 or 8 miles. And we would, knew we wouldn't cover that much distance um, starting so late. So um, tomorrow we're going to shoot for like 12 and a half. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I can always stop after seven and a half. And uh, good day. Uh, I was, you know, nice sleeping in town and getting clean and stuff. And uh, it's cool because you could like reconnect with a lot of people that may be like, oh, you saw them like, you know, two or three days prior and everyone kind of stretches out along the trail. But at these uh, towns, you know, people kind of stagger which uh, gap they're coming in off of or, um, you know, if they're taking like a zero or an extra day or something. You know, so I don't know, everyone just kind of ends up congregating in the town and you see a lot of, see a lot of people. Um, where we stayed was adequate. Um, you know, they, it was priced right for hikers and uh, they catered to hikers by doing free pickups and drop offs to the trail and then laundry facilities. And, you know, it was just basic fine for getting clean and laundry and doing what you need to do. Um, had some food and resupplied and it was great. So... That's about it for today. It was kind of rainy, so not a lot of video. All right, bye. And this is specifically for my girl child. Look at me. Ha. Ha. You know what I'm doing. Ha. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Just to annoy you. Ha. Ha. <laughs> So, day 11, we are now in North Carolina. Um, it's a foggy one, doing some cloud, wa cloud, cloud walking today. So, it always looks like some sort of weird post-apocalyptic world in the fog. Or like some sort of Stephen King book or something. Wait, waiting for the giant multi-armed creature to come emerging out of the mist. But it's been a pretty good day so far. Um, I haven't had to have my raincoat on too much. Uh, it's, it's a little warm. I don't know. I mean, it's not warm. It's probably like upper 50s, but when you're hiking, you pork up a sweat. So I'm wearing a tank top today. Oh, hi. Go ahead, past. Thank you. No problem. And uh, putting, putting like the 
wet raincoat over your bare arms and like that's just sticking to you all day. I don't know, the only, the only feeling I have for that is just like, ugh. That's really muddy right here. So happily, I haven't had to have my raincoat on that much today. I just have it slung over my pack to keep my pack dry, but it's been mostly just kind of drizzling on and off and this misty stuff. So pretty good day so far. Still shooting for that uh, 12 mile day, but we're gonna stop at Muskrat Shelter or whatever its name is and have lunch there and uh, see how it goes. All right, bye. Clearly I'm in the right place. <laughs> it, uh, it cleared up and turned out to be like a pretty nice day after all, after all the morning rain. We even got like some little bits of views out there behind the trees, so not bad. I'll take it. Yeah, really did end up with some nice views today. I like this. It's so pretty. Look at that. All the mountains. All the mountains. So day 12, we are at Standing Indian Shelter. Getting ready for the morning. I'm eating straight peanut butter and jelly out of a bag for breakfast. <laughs> Trail standards. So, I don't know, we were talking about doing an 11 and a half today, uh, or 11.2 or something like that, but we might stop at the shelter before, that's like only seven and a half. I'm swinging in my hammock. Um, so let's see how the day goes. It's pretty nice and clear so far, and um, I don't know, we'll see what happens. This is kind of what the camp looks like. You can see down there, there's people packing up their tents down the hill. That's the Andes. <laughs> Hi. And behind me is the shelter. People packing up. And then, like, I don't know, down, down the hill there is the privy somewhere. You can't see it from where I'm sitting. But, um, you know, it's like a really it's nice grassy hilltop campsite. You can see mountains. When I was down on the privy, you could see the sunset coming up. Like, you could, like, watch the sunset while you're pooping. Kind of nice. <laughs> I mean, sunrise. It's morning. I don't even know what it is anymore. It's really cool walking along the ridges because it's like mountains there, mountains there. And we're just like walking like just right on the ridge top. So it's cool. Just like mountain surround sound, surround view. I don't know. Surrounded by mountains. They're everywhere. We're walking up them. They're behind me. They're to the right, to the left, everywhere. I don't know. I just thought this was um, pretty cool. <laughs> pretty cool looking. I don't know. It's like a tunnel. So this must be like everyone calls the green tunnel when it grows in, but it's still first half of March. So nothing's nothing's grown in yet. But I don't know. This is just really cool. There's so many like cool parts. I can't film them all, but. It's not raining and it's very easy trail terrain here, so I can because quite often I'm needing all my hands and paying attention because of the terrain being very rocky or very uphill or uh, very something, very not nice and smooth like this, which it does happen sometimes. I get, I do get nice like stretches of smooth trail and it's glorious and I enjoy every second of it but then I feel like I pay for it later with some like horrendous uphill full of boulders but uh I don't know this is just really cool um I might oh, I lost one of the baskets off my trekking poles see that one has a basket that one doesn't so I'm picking up all the leaves like some sort of 
Central Park trash collector. And then uh, also I use my poles a lot just because I don't have my trail legs yet. And I use them to assist me a lot on ups and downs. So the one without the basket keeps on like sinking down in the mud when I like lean on it, which is kind of irksome. I don't know where I lost it. One of the mountains ate it. I hope it enjoyed it. And uh, so I don't know what I'm going to do about that quite yet. I have some baskets at home, some extra ones. Um, but it seems, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'll look at the outfitter in Franklin and see what they have. Seems like a silly thing to have sent. And um, that's about it. Bye. Well, this is quite the lookout. Shazam. How rubbery this stuff is. It's like skin on the rock. Alright, part way up Albert Mountain. There's Andy about like 25 feet in front of me, the purple behind the tree, and it's like far up we're ascending 400 feet and 0.3 miles and it's very very tall Made it to the top, Albert Mountain, but it's really raining, so no way I'm going up those stairs for any kind of view because there is none. There's no view, but we have badass bitches for getting to the top of this mountain because that was hard. And I'm eating and I don't care. Like that was like hands and feet bare crawling up those rocks for me. Maybe some people couldn't do it without doing that, but... Not me. That was hard. Yay! So, for water, at this shelter, we have like a little piped spring. So, I think it's just a natural ground spring that they stuck a pipe in to make it easier. And I just fill up my filter bag. This is a slow trickle. And then uh, throw my filter in and drink up. And then I can pour this into like one of my water bottles or I can drink right out of the bag with the filter on top. So it's pretty easy. Um, it's nice with the little pipe here. It makes it easier to collect. So otherwise the spring, you know, it's just a little, you probably have to like put some sort of like little leaf or something to funnel it off a little bit better. Um, so put my filter on top, screw it on, and then I can just drink right out of the little sport top. Cool. And um, that's my water. I don't know which is more exciting, <laughs> trail magic or trail magic with these people. <laughs> We've got oh Cool. <laughs> we met Zen from Gooder Grove and he's gonna fast pack us over to Winey Steer Gap and we're gonna stay at the hostel tonight. It's our new term we, we coined. I like the pack. <laughs> I like the fast pack. <laughs> we're no slackers, we're just fast. <laughs> we're no we're not fast, but <laughs> we will be we will be faster. So I should call it faster packing. There we go. Actually it's probably more there you go. Oh, okay, heading off on my first slack pack. 
It feels very weird. <laughs> Thank you again. Thank you, Crawfords. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Got like a random woods trail magic. Some it'll get eaten. It's all sealed. It's fine. Okay. Just chips and pop. <laughs> so totally cool morning. Meeting the Crawfords. Um, they have a really popular YouTube channel. They uh, through hiked two years ago as a family of eight with all those kids and the youngest one being like two or one or something like that in a backpack. So I really enjoyed following their through hike. Oh my God, I look dreadful, I'm all puffy. Um, and it was super fun. They said they come out once a year to uh, do trail magic uh, last year and this year and uh, we caught them on their day so that was super fun had pan blueberry pancakes and sausages and coffee and um they were making like eggs to order so it was so cool and then uh we met uh zen from a hostel in franklin and he slack packed us uh so we're at winding stair gap right now waiting for uh zen to come pick us up and uh then we're gonna resupply in Franklin and enjoy the day and it's gonna be awesome and what an awesome morning. And yesterday was so cool going up Albert Mountain and it's just like, ah, what a great two days. Love it. I'm at uh, Gooders Grove Hiker Hostel, and I'm wearing my lunar clothes while I'm waiting for my laundry to get done. And uh, it's pretty nice here. I uh, got uh, room bunks. Um, there's like a big basement area that's all full of bunks, and some rooms up here, a couple bathrooms, um, like a shared kitchen um, with food yeah. to buy. And, it's like a nice living room area, hike a box, cool stuff. Um, and there's dogs. I don't know where the other dog is, but it's a nice place. Love it. This is our shuttle to town. <laughs> we have guests in our shuttle. <laughs> Hello, everybody's good. So town, like I guess everything's, toilet paper is gone everywhere, stores are empty, I don't know. In Franklin, it seems pretty normal. We ate at a restaurant and went to the grocery store and bread was kind of gone, but other than, and hand sanitizer, you can't find hand sanitizer anywhere, which doesn't sound on par with what everybody else is telling me at back home of stores are empty, everything's closed. So, I don't know, um, the NOC, it sounds like, is, is uh, they closed their hostel and their outfitter, but the general store is staying open for now, but we got extra food in Franklin just as a precaution in case the, um, in case that changes, um, so we're going to assume that we cannot shower or get laundry or anything done at the NOC so we'll have to wait till um Fontana Dam so that probably I don't know a week what, what does that take I don't know something like that but um hopefully hopefully Fontana Dam is fine by the time we get there um open wise so we can resupply and, and clean up before we hit the Smokies um yeah I don't know what's going on everywhere seems kind of sketchy but we're gonna continue to stay on trail for now, um, unless something else happens. I don't know, it's kind of weird. Everything's weird right now. We'll see what happens.